Uh, you can see here that uh, this reddish function here, that's the area function, s squared. We take that side length and we square, we get the area. And here is an x value of 12. If we zoom in enough, you can see that. There's 10 and 12 there. So we zoom in on that. You can see there's the tangent line to that function. And now that I'm zoomed in, you can't hardly see the difference between the red function and, uh, I don't know, what is that tangent function's color? Uh, green, it looks like. Uh, green. So you can barely tell the difference between the red one and the green one. And we're talking about a 1 64th of an inch. There's 13, there's a half, 64th. It's just going to be very tiny. And so the difference between the, the area uh, as approximated by the green and the actual area uh, told by the red function is uh, it's almost indistinguishable. I don't know if we zoom in, we might be able to see the space between them. Or we might just break this Web 2.0 tool. Yeah, we're, we're really zoomed in there, and I'm not seeing a gap between the two. So their, their values are, are so close that uh, you, you can see why you would want to use the line to approximate what the actual function gives you. If the actual function has a lot of x cubed and squared and sines and all that kind of stuff, when you can boil that whole thing down to one tangent line and use it to approximate the value of the function, uh, it's real helpful sometimes. Okay, so there's that problem. Okay, now let's look at uh, something like 45, just one last thing. We're asked to find the fourth root of 6 24. Okay, uh, kind of a hard thing to do because uh, I don't really know what the fourth root of 624 is, but you know what I do know? I know the fourth root of 625. Okay, so for a function like the fourth root of x, I know what f of 5, sorry, what f of 625 is. It's 5. The fourth root of 625 is 5. Uh, if you take the second to think about that, 5 times 5 is 25 times 5 is 125 times 5 is 625. Um, so f of 625 is 5. So I know that. Um, so let's see how we can use uh, the differential of y, dy, to approximate the value of the fourth root of 624. It won't be exact, but it'll be close because we're only one away, right? This is only one away from the value that we know. Remember that dy is equal to f prime of x times dx. Uh, so first, let's find f prime of x. Here's our function x is the fourth root of x. We'll just squeeze f prime in here. That's 1 fourth x to the negative 3 fourths, or 1 over uh, 4 times the fourth root of x to the third. Okay. Um, so, let's see. So, what is f prime of 625? And, well, what's dx? Let's figure that out, too. How much are we going to change of x? Well, x we're going to call 625. You can see I have kind of said that here. So what is our dx? We're going to go back to 624, so our dx is negative 1. So times negative 1. All right, so dy is equal to, well, here's our f prime, 1 over 4 times uh, it might be easier to look at it this way. The fourth root of 625 first, then take that to the third. They're the same thing. Uh, we should know that. Times negative 1 times dx. Um, and 1 over 4 times, so well, the fourth root of 625 is 5 to the third. That's 1 over 4 times 125 times negative 1. That's 1 over uh, 500 
times negative 1. Uh, so final result, negative 1 over 500. Okay, so what is that? That's the, that's the approximated change in the y value of this function between uh, an x or the uh, yeah between an x of 625 and an x of 624 uh, so our fourth root of 625 we're saying that if we subtract 1 over 500 from that we should get the fourth root of 624 and the fourth root of 625 and 624 are going to be really close we're approximating they're going to be this close to each other okay so we'll take the fourth root of 625 or f of 625 we'll subtract 1 over 500 this is a y value this is the change in the y value so 5 minus 1 over 500 um, this would be 2500 over 500 minus 1 over 500 that would be 2499 over 500. Um, and I don't know if those share any common factors. We could just use decimals, round it to 4.998. Okay, that's, that's our approximation. Let's grab a calculator and see what is the fourth root of 624. Raise that to the 1 fourth power. 4.998. It's to three decimal places, it's the same. Uh, so you can see how we can use the, the linear approximation to, uh, or dy, to approximate the y value of a function like the fourth root. And you can do that with other functions like square roots and thirds roots and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that is all, and we'll go over. Uh, the rest of this stuff, uh, homework quiz and homework questions and uh, all that kind of stuff next time and have a review day. All right, so uh, thanks for watching all this uh, and I'll see you next time.